In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the load testing of a lifting gear equipment that you find on ships. Now you may ask me what is lifting gear? Now lifting gear includes ships cranes, cranes that may be used for handling heavier items such as cargo or for handling relatively lighter items such as ship stores, provisions. So these cranes could have a safe working load or a SWL of up to 30 or 40 odd tons and that is where it is used for handling cargoes or it could have a safe working load for about 7 to 8 tons or 3 to 4 tons smaller cranes which may be used only for the uh, shifting or the carrying of uh, ships stores or provisions. Uh, any equipment that is intended to be used as a lifting gear on the ship it needs to be certified. Regulations for lifting equipment and testing are internationally established and harmonized. This means that material qualities of the lifting gear should be checked. Uh, the construction is also tested and a load test is carried out under the supervision of a regulating body such as a classification society. Now all the items in the lifting gear must be covered by a certificate that states that a search test or lifting test was carried out. Now here we are going to be talking about the load test. The load test is carried out to guarantee a safe working load or SWL or the working load limit that is the WLL. So the operators know what is the maximum weight of any kind of cargo or stores that may be lifted by the lifting gear without it buckling or breaking under stress or strain. Now as you see here in the picture, uh, sometimes uh, water bags are used for testing the uh, or the for, for carrying out a load testing of the equipment. Now crane as a complete unit is tested by lifting a weight and carrying out the normal movements like hoisting, lowering, slewing and topping. When the power to the crane is interrupted, the brake has to hold the load. It should be able to hold it. Now the weight for testing is heavier than the working load limit. So for the smallest cranes, this means 25% overweight over the weight of the weight for which it has been allowed to be carried. So you go over it. So you test for 25% more than what it is required to be carried. So for the bigger cranes, it is five tons more than the safe working load. Now individual small items belonging to the crane, such as blocks, hooks, shackles, etc. They are normally tested at a load in accordance with the uh, International Labor Organization rules or the Classification Society rules. So normally a single sheave block is load, uh, tested at four times the safe working load. If there are multi sheave blocks, they are uh, below the safe working load of 25 tons. They are uh, lo tested at twice the safe working load. Similar, similarly, there are rules for hooks, shackles, chains, rings uh, below safe working load of 25 tons and above safe working load of 25 tons. Now in my previous uh, slide, I showed you how the water bags are used for testing or load testing of the crane. Here on the slide, you can see today that uh, Testing with water bags because it has a maximum limit uh, for bigger loads for bigger cranes uh, we use specially constructed pontoons for load testing of the cranes. Alright so different equipments uh, of the crane which are part of the lifting gear they are tested at different loads uh, depending on for what purpose they are to be used in the lifting gear. Now the test weights as I showed you before they can be steel weights uh, with a known mass or the modern varieties of course of a water bag here you can see in the picture that uh, this is the process by which the lifeboat davids are tested this is the load testing of a lifeboat david so you know that uh, the lifeboat david is used to not only stow the lifeboat but also to launch it and also lift it back from the water and because again it is involved in some kind of a lifting operation uh, the lifeboat David also forms part of the lifting equipment. Uh, so here you can see in the picture here how the lifeboat Davids are being tested or they are being load tested 
by using water bags and this is the modern variety of course uh, this these type of bags can be filled with water till the required mass is reached so you can play around with it now of course uh, the LIBO David also will be tested at a particular load uh, which will be more than of course the weight of the lifeboat but uh, it is of a specific value depending on the weight of the lifeboat or the lift weight that it is required to be lifting so here with the water weight of the water you can adjust it you can fill it up to the amount of or the weight that you want it to be filled up to that is why it is a very convenient system or a convenient way of load testing now of course with bigger cranes like i said sometimes the water bag may not be enough there has to be a limit up to which the water can be filled and that is why we use a specially made pontoons they are of a known weight as you saw in the previous slide and they are used so a certified load cell indicates the weight uh, water bags are available up to 35 tons in uh, weight if you have to all right so of course the there are many types of cargo handling gear that are used on ships i have here just discussed a couple of the types but i just wanted you to know about the load testing system and what is the load testing all about uh, in my other videos i will talk more about the ship screens and what are the rules and regulations and certification associated with it um, like I said, uh, the different parts of the crane or the lifting gear have different testing requirements. I'll be talking about the revolving cranes that are used on the ship and the position of the cranes on the ship. How do you secure the cranes, the load control and go further into it? Because uh, especially if you're going to be a chief officer one day, uh, you are in charge of maintaining these lifting equipments. So you should be knowing about the load testing mechanisms and also the maintenance which goes behind it and also sometimes when you go into the dry dock you have to be involved in such kind of load testing uh, experiments or uh, load testing operations so i'll stop the video here now this is a useful video for your oral examination uh, make sure you listen to it and you get some points from it so that tomorrow if you have to talk about some plan maintenance or a dry dock for lifting equipment you should be able to talk about the load testing part of the lifting equipment Bye for now.